the main misunderstanding about living in the now is that you can't talk about the future and project and imagine and go forward outside outside of the now and you can't like talk too much about the past or think about the past you have to be like focused like right here right now what's happening but that's only a little bit about the teaching of living in the now like everything is an experience including thoughts you can close your eyes start thinking stuff and becoming aware of your thoughts and that's something that your consciousness or awareness is on the thoughts similarly you can keep your eyes open and look at this and your attention is on the leaf you can open or close your eyes and listen to me talking and that's something you're focusing on or paying attention to similarly you can talk about the future and that's happening now you can love talking about the future um, it's an experience um, it can breed excitement and help you to manifest your dream and your passion and your true hearts calling okay your spirits desire it's all about balance the problem is if you keep t thinking worrisome or fearful or like peculiar thoughts about the future or if you and then that causes negative emotions of course like unpleasant emotions similarly if you if you think about the past and it's all like causing a sadness guilt regret shame or you're thinking about the future in a way is causing a depression see various emotions comes from living thinking about the past or thinking about the future but in a certain way similarly if you think about the past or the future in a, in a different certain way you can be happy grateful excited appreciating feeling wonder and awe for like how how like the goodness of life and how awesome life is like the beautiful trees and the mountain and the sky and the air and your your blessings your gifts your family your friends your your body parts that you have and the body parts that work that you have you know there's so many things your abundance your blessings your gifts your your creativity, so many things everybody, so many things. So living in the now isn't about avoiding thoughts or avoiding thinking about the future or the past. It's really about an awareness of how your thoughts affect you emotionally. So you want to steer away from these disempowering, limited, ego-y type of thoughts and steer more towards those other thoughts that breed love, compassion and generosity of heart and kindness of spirit and excitement of soul. Okay? Okay, so that's that part. The another part is you don't want to think too much about the past or the future. Like constantly projecting. So this is the balance part. If you're always thinking then you miss the now, sensually. You know, you miss the seed, you miss your breath. You miss what's happening around of you. So it's better balance, and you don't have to try too hard with this either. But one of my favorite things that I learned from Eckhart Tolle is the Buddhist teaching of one thing at a time. It's about being present. That's what one of the biggest teachings of Eckhart Tolle is. Make nothing as a means to an end. So you're not trying to like rush past this moment because you think it's like crap and worthless and has no value. Like rejection, resistance and rejection or hatred of the moment. But you pay a certain homage or respect or reverence even if it's an unpleasant thing. You have a certain spiritual value to the essence or to the existence of the moment without automatically judging it as bad because sometimes what we think is bad actually is good for us and it serves us and it expands us and it gives us compassion even if it's a painfulness or a torture or a loss of some kind it, it brings us a deeper a deeperness into within us so we are a bigger human being and it, we access our divinity more pain and loss generally expand us greatly so this is one of the best teachings of Eckhart Tolle that I learned like try not like intrinsically or deeply judge something to the point where you don't experience it because you're trying to avoid it so badly. Um, so this ties in with the teaching of one thing at a time. Um, 
you, you experience something deeply. So if I'm talking in this video, I try and like have a certain degree of concentration or being present with with every anything with my words, maybe even my surroundings to a degree. But really, right now, my main energy flow is speaking, and my main intention is to convey a message. So. If, if you're a human right in front of me, I'd like to be more present with you. I I don't have to stare you out of it like a crazy person, but have a certain degree of homage or reverence or presence to your existence right now in my life. So being present is being here in your body. Like A really good question you can ask yourself is, where am I right now? Where is my body in relation to everything else? And then you can look around, okay? Looking around and, and seeing I'm small physically in relation to my my surroundings in the now is a nice thing and it helped me feel more peace and serenity of the mind, tranquility. So being present means you don't try and rush and escape in a sense of tension and unease. If you're with something or somebody or a place you don't like, you can be present and leave, but you don't have to do it. You can even leave fast if you wish. But you don't necessarily need to do it with a sense of shallow breath, uh, losing your peace, getting stressed, getting really unhappy. being like judgmental and uh, resistance on the deeper level. You can be conscious and present and leave. So being present or living in the now has nothing got to do with putting up with anything you don't like, not at all. You can leave and be more present. And being present means also like you can leave with more peace in your mind and peace in your heart. More mental and emotional tranquility So, doing one thing at a time means when 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 you're finished, when you you listen to me, when you listen to me on the video, you're not oblivious to your surroundings, but you're not lost in your surroundings too. You're being present with me in this video right now, at the computer or the phone you're listening with. Okay. Then then after you finish this, the one thing at a time teaching of Zen Buddhism is let's say you walk to out of your location to the next room. You're present with your body moving, you're present with your footsteps, you're present with how your body feels. You're not rushing desperately to try and get out of the room to get to your next destination. You're being present along the journey. So This ties in with traveling too. You, you try and enjoy and savor the moment, the experience, the, the, the movement as it's happening, not just about your destination. So that's one of my favorite teachings about living in the now, about um, doing one thing at a time. So my, some of my favorite things that I've ever learned from Eckhart Tolle is like, be present, one thing at a time, nothing as a means to an end, especially the first two. Sometimes it's nice to move fast and do things as a means to an end. Like, it's not too bad to do, you know, like if you're making tea and you want to drink the tea, it's not the end of the world, you know, if you move too fast. Or you just you get a bit unconscious. But it's it's it is nice to be honest to focus and pay attention to what you're doing. Really it is a bit more it is more peaceful. So if you're thinking and planning about the future in a positive way, it's lovely to like be present and conscious and enjoy that also. That's a process, that's an experience in itself. But let's say you're like drinking tea like and um, or eating food. If you keep talking incessantly you kinda lose your of paying attention or focus on the food and the enjoyment and the appreciation of the colors, the flavors, the textures, and the appreciation, and maybe the company also. So, I guess life is a bit about mixture and balance. And we go up in losing balance, we go down, like we're always flowing. So, there's nothing to get too worried or stressed about. See what works for you is what I'd recommend, and remember the teaching of balance. Sometimes we can lose
focus. Sometimes we can lose paying attention. We, lo we lose being present. And then other times we remember. So, I like to say in life, it's not about what you know exactly. It's really about what you can remember. And then you can apply what you know, what you remember. <laughs> It's no good knowing stuff if you, keep, if you forget and then you can never apply it. So it's really about remembering. And this also means about also reminding yourself and uh, being reminded and from, from others too. And in another video I said uh, three ways to really like appreciate the now also and the stillness and quietness of the mind is to pay attention to space not just things in space, but the space itself also. Breathing deep is a beautiful way to become more conscious and present and relaxed. Especially if you're getting stressed or in an argument, breathing deep is fantastic. Uh, a third way of accessing like inner stillness and peacefulness, tranquility, is to listen to not just the sounds, but the silence, which allows the sound to be. It's a bit like the way space allows things to be, silence allows sounds to be. So listen and pay attention, not to, pay attention not just to the big sounds, but to the unobvious silence and, ga and gaps of noise. So if you're listening to, let's say, me talk, listen to me being silent in between my sentences also. As med meditation that is, that's like brainwave changing. So it's good to pay attention to both sometimes and uh, mix in being active in life with just taking a break. This is like taking a break. Closing your eyes allows you to feel the, the silence around you more and when you listen to the silence around you, you're accessing your own inner stillness which is extremely peaceful. So you can do this like in traveling, like if you're traveling on the train or the, the bus or if you're a passenger in a car or if you're in your house or if you're anywhere in a park. Even when you're walking you can really like be really in a zen mode. Really like soaking in your surroundings and paying attention to the subtle things in life like silence and space. So another um, aspect about living in the now that I learned about is very important is surrender or unconditional acceptance of the isness of the moment or what is just passed just now passing by the second every moment is basically like we've just exited the past and or entered another split second so surrender basically means forgiveness or unconditional acceptance or of the past including this moment also and even when we say this moment, it's gone. It's, it's, that one is gone. So that's how quick life is happening, you know. So if ever you have a problem with somebody, or if something difficult is happening, or you're stuck in a situation, like let's say sickness or some, some kind of ailment or pain, a surrender helps us to live with it, and to deal with it, and to go through it. So that's another way we can like live in peace and surrender is very 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 powerful and it helps us to transform a situation that we'd like to change if we have the power to change it. If we do not have the power to change the situation, surrender is deeply powerfully transformative inwardly also and outwardly. <laughs> so, lots of love everybody. Thanks for watching. So I think, I think, think that's enough now. I think I've said everything. So, yeah. Hope this video has helped and I wish you a beautiful day and just wish you really tranquility and peace more in your life because I've made the decision that I want peace and I don't want to have any arguments that let me lose my peace much, as little as possible. I'm not interested in drama or feeding, feeding energy to some kind of weird drama or argument with anybody anymore. I just want peace now and I hope this video helps you to br have more peace and um, 
don't don't allow your energy to be drawn into people who are out of peace so you let yourself lose your peace just I recommend being loving and sweet fairly quieter than you, quiet enough and say something important but not too much I don't know something like that anyway I don't pretend to have all the answers okay everyone have a, have a nice day have a nice moment enjoy your next step one thing at a time after this video and uh, thanks for all your love and support if you like this video please give it a like appreciate that very much it helps this channel and my message please spread the word of my positive videos I do to help change the, the planet the people's lives to uplift to to inspire to empower and to heal so if you can like help share and anything you do I really appreciate it and other than that um, see the links below the video for any further support or information about me and my, my work and hope you have a really nice day good luck to you and your family and uh, connect with me on Facebook and see you another time everybody maybe someday we'll meet in person you never know okay bye